Hello guys, and today we'll be uh, checking our updated plugin and uh, we'll be seeing how the web zone would be able to set up custom order prefix as well as suffix. So uh, if we're having uh, or the customers are placing an order at the storefront and you want to have a, a custom order there uh, or the custom order ID there, then you can add and uh, append the uh, pre and the suffix to the default order number now uh, to do so you will have to make use of the WooCommerce custom order prefix by webpool itself and uh, It basically provides the facility to add a custom order prefix and the custom order suffix uh, also as I've already told you and Apart from that the admin can add a prefix to the shipping methods as well that would be then visible to the customers as well as to the store admin and as we know that the store owners often need to change the order numbers either for the customer's convenience or to keep up the business information safe so in such cases they need specific function to make this process easier and that can now be done using the same plugin uh, that allows you to customize the orders and the shipping methods according to your needs so before uh, showing you the workflow at the storefront for the uh, plugin that's the WooCommerce custom order prefix Please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Apart from that, if you find the video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, add one product into the cart and we'll just place the order and let's see how the order ID appears uh, after that, after placing the order. So let me add two products to the cart and uh, let's make a check out thereafter. Now uh, one thing you'll notice here is that uh, when uh, I've edited my address here, you can see the details as well. So just give me a second for that. Let me fill in the details here. And uh, let me choose my address. So here you can see that uh, for the shipping, you have the webcool underscore the flat rate. The flat rate is the shipping name. And this webcool underscore has been uh, prefixed to the shipping. Now the same will go for the order ID as well. So for that, let me place the order first. And as soon as the order gets placed, you will see the prefix and the suffix added to the default order ID. So here's the default order number. That's the 153. And this is the prefix that we have added. And this is the suffix uh, added to the order number itself. Now the same is visible to the uh, store admin in the backend panel as well. So this was the customer's uh, front and uh, now let's hop onto the admin backend panel. Let's see how this uh, value gets visible to the uh, admin in the backend there. And on the order details page, the customers for the shipping can also see the uh, prefix for the, uh, what we say as the shipping method there. So now let's hop onto the admin backend panel. So I'll be entering my username and password and I'll be logging into my WooCommerce platform based web store. And then we'll go to the orders section. Here's our order number 153 with the prefix hash webcool underscore 2019 underscore and the suffix as hash and hash. So that's how uh, the same gets visible to the store admin as well. Now let's see the uh, initial configurations that are required for this particular plugin. So uh, so under the WooCommerce here, we'll navigate to the custom order prefixer. So after the installation, you'll have uh, the custom order prefixer under the WooCommerce itself. And here you can add your suffix and the prefix to your uh, order number. So uh, you can set the appropriate prefix and suffix for your orders. For the order prefix, you can set the order prefix and that would be applicable to the default order number. And this is the order suffix that you want to add and uh, you can also add your suffix and prefix to your shipping id as well so uh, here you can set the appropriate prefix and suffix for the shipping method id so the shipping method id prefix uh, is uh, whatever you have entered here that would be appended in the start of your uh, shipping method as we have already seen at the storefront while i placed the order there so uh, that's how this particular plugin works also, uh, kindly note uh, that uh, the uh, the prefix and the suffix that you're going to add uh, uh, basically supports the alphabets, numbers, and special characters as well. 
So you can make use of any of the special characters as well to set up your uh, customized uh, order ID as well as your customized uh, shipping there. So whatever the shipping method name would be there, you can uh, prefix any of the uh, what we say as the uh, special characters, maybe numbers or alphabets as per your own requirement, as per uh, your business needs there. So yes, that was much uh, about the uh, plugin itself. And I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow the same. And if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then you do reach back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com. You can also contact us through https colon forward slash forward slash www.webpool.com forward slash contacts. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And also do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Uh, once again, I'm repeating that up. And uh, lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.